Hello. A lot of people say lower your car. I say opposite. You need to raise it. What is up, everybody? I'm super excited. Jake, are you super excited? I am ready to see this thing eat. Eat. They call it the bad boy on the block. The bad kid in school. The fire plug. Okay, the fire plug is all loaded up in the Haas, ready to go. And what we have here is a nice big chunk of one inch by four inch by 18 inch long, 1018 steel. Now, we've been developing over the last couple of weeks our new style of flanges. We've been buying flanges from PRL and a couple other companies to develop our turbo manifolds uh, for a variety of different setups. However, since we got this machine, the whole point of getting this machine was not having to buy them from anybody else anymore. I've already gone through and got this whole uh, program all set up. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much ready to go. I'm gonna wait for Jake to come back and then uh, might clean up this vise a little bit. We are switching coolants at the moment. We were running like a oil water mixture and uh, we will be going to some blazer Swiss lube here in a little bit, but for now, we're gonna run our oil water setup just to get by. That's what it's causing this surface rust on our vise and our table, which isn't great. I've been doing a ton of research on this stuff. Uh, I actually went to school for it for a while. However, that was 12 years ago, so kind of a long process. This is gonna be our flange. And I already have it set up to use that fire plug. I've already looked through all the G code. It will just cut the blank. For right now, it won't be cutting in the uh, holes. It'll be cutting in these pockets and they're removing a ton of material around the side. I'm really excited to see how fast this does it because right now it says that our machining time is 40 minutes. If it can do it in 40 minutes, I mean, that's a vast improvement. When I first did this flange with a high speed steel end mill, over two and a half hours to cut out, which isn't productive and isn't manufacturing level, that's for sure. So turning this piece of hunk of 1018 steel into a flange is gonna be pretty dope. This is a roughing end mill. You can see the little serrations in the side of it. Those are supposed to rip steel off there pretty much. It's much more aggressive. It doesn't leave a clean surface finish, but we have surface finish end mills to go back and clean up the surface, which is dope. Okay, so I guess it's doing the pockets first. We can get this video to 100 likes. This plus this. Dude, best purchase ever. Pretty fucking impressive. So we learned some real key things. Uh, the lead-in rate 
and then the cut rate on these pockets probably come down a little bit because once it goes down it fucking really hogs through it kind of necessarily uh, we also learned that our cutting feed rate of like 30 inches a minute is almost 420 surface foot per hour so 420 feet per hour is totally reasonable it didn't give a shit about that which is amazing even went and put this nice chamfer on here which is super cool now we could go back and we could face this or we could go back and we could profile out our pockets and everything which i think we might do now super exciting though pretty fucking wild like really really hyped amazing i wish this shot was sometimes when you draw stuff uh you know, when you don't have the motor in front of you, uh, this looks perfectly good, but then you realize that it's supposed to be like this, and that this side is supposed to be the front, and this side's supposed to be the back. And that makes these little, little two pockets uh, on the wrong side. <laughs> what we need to do now is uh, unfuck this <laughs> and put these on this side, which I've already done. Uh, now it's correct. Now it looks as it should. This is, uh, but we were reviewing the fire plug end mill and we used it for everything from surfacing to uh, adaptive to uh, 2D pocketing. And I have to say that thing is an absolute savage. Uh, we were doing 400 thousandths radial depth of cut, or excuse me, radial cut with um, 50, 500 thousandths depth of cut. So uh, that should put it in perspective. That's a massive, massive cut. Um, 400 thousandths radial depth, and it fucking blasted through this mild steel at 35 uh, inches per minute which is 420 surface foot, hashtag 420, gang, gang. 420 surface feet, feet per minute through mild steel is absolutely blistering for this machine. And we never once touched 100% spindle load, which means there's more on the table for us. So I think that's gonna wrap up our video and our review of the Lakeshore Carbide 5 8 fire plug. Uh, roughing end mill things savage make some parts throw some chips see you guys again real soon hashtag gang gang fab town get on instagram get on facebook get on our dicks follow that shit peace